Welcome back, everybody. It's Mitch Bolliani with MBRC, and in this episode, we're going to be moving some electronics on the FX118 Fury Wagon and the battery. And we're going to be eliminating the battery holder and the electronics holder from that whole back end of the rig. So I call this optimal weight distribution for now. Um, yeah, we're going to hit it right here. I'm going to speed things along and give you guys some music through the boring parts and highlight the important parts. Right here I'm just removing the battery tray. Very simple. Uh, two screws and she pops loose and we're going to go from there. Alright, so right here I'm actually taking a small flathead screwdriver and slowly working underneath the adhesive strip under the electronics. But carefully pulling up as I do so, they are linked together so you don't get a lot of movement out of them, so don't try and pull too hard. So if you go slow, everything should come loose pretty easily. Alright, so the electronics got moved to the right side and the battery to the left side slide um, and I opted to use some mounting tape to do so I did mount the battery for the very small amount I should be able to peel it off if I need to for now I probably won't opt to use velcro I'll leave it that way and just kind of charge the battery on the skid it, it can be removed very easily if needed in the future um, but for now I, it seems to work really well I don't have scales, so there's no way for me to actually measure this outright just yet. Down the road, I will be adding some stuff into my videos, some baseline course runs, um, uh, incline meters for climbing and all that such, as well as weight scales. But uh, there you go. There's that. In just a moment, I'm going to kind of snap my fingers and it's all going to be done for you. Boom! There it is, all completed, guys. Came out really clean, too, as you can see. Um, if you have to, you can pause it and zoom right in. Uh, came out clean, I like it. So, the electronics may stick out off from one side of the skid by a millimeter or two, it's nothing. I've already did try it, run it a little bit, it's not affecting anything, so um, really, really slick way to move the weight around so the next thing here I'm just kind of checking make sure we're all fitting well looks great um, now the next thing is to remove the electronics tray because we're not going to be using it anymore we're not mounting any electronics to it um, and then of course we can actually get to our rear shock placement a lot easier now as well so we're gonna hit it Alright, so I dropped the rear shocks to a much lower placement, about to where the frame touches the axles. That's about as far as you can go. I did have some body placement issues, so guess what? I ended up going back to Fury Bolt. As you can see in a minute, kind of a, it works good. I don't want to trim that beautiful green body yet. Um, I could do some body post placement and get it up a little bit higher that way and I might still do that we'll see um, but the whole center of gravity is now so much lower on the rig and it is almost impossible to flip over and roll I I love it next big thing to do is some uh, overdrive at the front and this thing is gonna be an absolute contender Alright, so if you guys do decide you want to do the deadbolt body on your FX118, it's very simple. You just gotta 
move the front holes over and the rear holes over just a smidge. You might even be able to just move the body posts a little bit by flexing them with some heat or something if you wanted to do it that way. I opt them to just put some holes in a deadbolt body that way I can still switch them back and forth. Pretty easy but uh, that way there's no rear tire rub on the body and everything works out and uh, gee the thing's almost a comp break now. I Yep, next, overdrive. So stay tuned for that video, and we'll also do a run video where you can really see the difference this made. Uh, but until next time, thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you had a wicked good time, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Oh, yeah. Is that a UFO? Oh. No. <laughs>